let's start with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who lost a game today, but not, not didn't just lose, lost in convincing fashion to the Carolina Panthers, who were accused earlier this week of tanking when they traded their most well-known player for a bunch of draft picks in a season where they had already fired their head coach. Nate, I'm going to say it. This is rock bottom for this version of the Bucks. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This was this is zombie of zombie teams that 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 looks like they're playing right now. I that drop happened to Mike Evans early on the deep post, and I was like, ah, they're going to get 20 of those today. They did not get 20 of those today. <laughs> they they were far far from it. This this offense was oh I don't know what I don't even know the the adjective to use stagnant. Like I, I don't, I don't know what the word is. It just feels rough right now watching this offense, especially. Some numbers. So they were two of twelve on third down today, which seems bad, right? Yeah. I was shocked when I saw this. So they have faced forty three third and longs this season, which is seventh in the NFL. Makes sense, right? Uh -huh. They've they've run the ball really inefficiently. Yes. On first and second down, so they went away from that today. They really didn't run the ball that often on first and second down today. They threw it 21 times. Brady was 13 of 21. So eight times they started on second and 10 because yep. of incompletions. So they've just been really inefficient on first and second down. So they've faced mo almost more third and longs than almost any other team in the league. 43 of them. Like they are four of 43 oh my on God. third and long this season. Four for 43. They have converted 9.7% of their third and long chances That's this like season. Historically low. It's the Chiefs are doing it at 47% of the time. Oh, my God. It, it's absurd. almost impossible to be that bad. The average over the last 10 years is 25%. I said that before in regard to the Chiefs because I was looking this stat up because of the Bucks. 9.7%. And... Oh. That, it's how it feels like they're yeah. inefficient on first and second down. So they're facing a lot of third and longs yep. and they just cannot convert in those situations because they look really out of sorts. Brady looks really uncomfortable in the pocket. I mean, there were a couple different plays today where he's double clutching the ball. He's not yep. moving nearly yep. as kind of just casually and comfortably. Yes. He, yeah. His pocket movement was always so assertive. He yep. was always so sure of exactly what, how he needed to navigate those throw. spaces. Yep. And he does not look like that at all right now. Nope. And you have an offensive line that isn't playing very well. I mean, obviously, the personnel on the interior is a huge concern. We knew that coming in. But Donovan Smith got roasted today for a sack by Brian Burns. Tristan Wirfs had a couple moments. It's like nobody on this offense is playing well right now. And that's how you end up with games like today. Yeah, it's a... Like Chris Godwin's like steady Eddie and everybody else is just like, you don't know what you're getting play in, play out. Like the best plays today were comeback throws, but it's like, you don't have anything outside of those. Like they have nothing. Everything feels like four yards, barely getting the first down or like a 16 yard comeback to Mike Evans. Like that's what that passing game feels like, which is crazy. Like what I, even I, I thought a drop off in this offense would be mid-level and explosive play rate. The, the fact they can't run the ball efficiently and they get no, they're 26 in explosive pass rate right now. That you that's not what this Bucks team is supposed to be built like. I I would have to watch a little bit more and actually like study it. And even then I probably wouldn't be able to pick up on enough of it. It feels like teams are really keyed in on what they're doing right mm -hmm. now. It feels like whether it's some siloing that we're not necessarily noticing or some tells that they have mm -hmm. formationally or tendency wise, because there was one drive that really stuck out to me. It was five minutes left in the third quarter, first down, failed screen that the Panthers snuffed out instantly that Brady had to dirt. So we get to second and 10. Okay. Second and 10, he has to check it down, falls incomplete, get to third and 10. Third and 10, stunt, break, instant pressure. Brady has to check it down, punt. Just how unambitious the yeah. offense feels right now. And because they have to. And you have this offense that felt like they were always, always bringing the heat at you. They were yes. always dictating the game to you, and it doesn't feel like that at all anymore. You talked about that. The hits that they're taking and how downhill teams are playing against them right now, how hard defensive backs are driving on the ball, like, the confidence that they usually play with, defenses are playing with that sort of confidence against yeah. them right now. And watching that contrast is just its weird. We're just not used to seeing this collection of players having that happen to them.
we would just laugh the last couple of years because it's like you shouldn't be able to get away with this. Like just how quickly he gets rid of the ball and how far the how far he's pushing the ball, snap after snap after snap. And that's what you, what you're saying. Like, oh yeah, first and ten, it's a negative two yard run. Well, second and twelve, they're going empty. And guess what? Oh, here's an 18 yard seam ball to Mike Evans, like right down the pipe, or Godwin right down the pipe. And it's like, oh well, wow, that must have been a lot of fun for the defense. Like you got them in a great situation. They're hitting explosive plays on you. They're just not doing any of that. There's no efficiency, no explosiveness. It's and it feels sloppy, which is not. And I get it. They're, the center, it's a new center and everything, but that's just one guy. Now the rest of the team's getting healthy, and just the sloppiness is coming from guys that I'm not expecting it from. Like especially the quarterback, especially Tom especially Brady, especially the quarterback. And yeah. you know, this is going to be a conversation we can have over the next yeah. couple of months. Talk about all in, right? This team is forty million dollars over the 2023 cap. Like this is it. Yep. And if this was going to be the final push and this is what they look like on offense, Garge. they're going to have to sort through some rubble next spring to figure out what the next stage of this looks like.